Hi there, Angie Taylor here. Um, I just want to show you a little bit about Adobe Character Animator. It's the first day since it's been released. I just wanted to record something very quickly to show you, show you what you can do with it. Uh, basically, if you're not in Character Animator, you get to it from After Effects by going to Open Adobe Character Animator, and that will open it up. And you can see my face in the window here. Basically, it's picking up uh, from my webcam and my microphone my voice and my face. Now, what I can do is I can associate artwork uh, in Adobe Character Animator that will respond to the movement that I make and uh, the things that I say. It's a bit difficult to get your head around. Um, and there are some sample projects, but I really want to show you how you can create your own puppet from your own artwork in Adobe Illustrator. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to say new puppet in Illustrator. And that's going to open up this uh, template puppet here, which was made by the engineers. And basically, this has the correct structure for your puppet in Illustrator. So it's just a case of replacing these. If we just jump back to Character Animator, you'll see that basically it's placed this layer in there and it's responding to my voice. You'll see that this character is actually talking the way that I'm talking. And if I move my head this way, it moves that way. If I move my head that way, it moves that way. And I can do things like pick up its hand and make it wave and do all sorts of other groovy stuff. Now, the other thing, you'll notice that um, the eyes keep looking over here because uh, that's where I was looking when I first um, created the character. Now, a good idea is to reset the pose when you start working. Make sure your head is central within this area here look at the scene and click on set rest pose and now that will be my rest pose so any movements i make will go from that point so that would be your first step just make sure the character is responding what we're going to do now as i move my head closer and further away from the camera that's picking up that as well what we're going to do now is edit this and make it into a more interesting character so let's jump over to illustrator and in Illustrator, what I've done is opened up another character. And this is one of the characters I designed years ago to work with the BBC. Um, and I animated this by hand and I've already got all the body parts in there. You'll see that I'd separated all the different elements for animating manually in After Effects. Now, what I'm going to do is reuse this artwork um, for character animator. So what I want to do is see them side by side. So I'm going to go to arrange tile to place them side by side. I'm just quickly going to double click the hand tool just to maximize them within the available space that I have in Illustrator. And then it's just a case of going through the template and replacing elements. You'll see here, if I close up the head, necklace, body, you'll see I've got one main uh, layer, which is called plus front. Um, you need to stick to the same naming conventions to make things work. And I'll explain a little bit more about naming conventions um, later on in some other videos that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, workshop in Adobe Character Animator in a little while. But for now, I just want to give you a taster of how it works. So as I said, stick to the naming conventions. What I'm going to do is start with the head. Now you'll notice there's loads and loads of individual elements within the head. We've got all the phonemes and um, the different mouth shapes for the uh, different words all placed within the mouth. I'm not going to show you too much about that just now. All we're going to do is just replace the head. So I'm going to go over to my illustrator file of my Tia Maria character and I'm going to select everything that's on the head and I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to go over to my Illustrator puppet and I'm going to select the head and just do a paste. Okay, and that's going to paste the head in. Obviously, it's not going to be in the correct place. So I'm just going to reposition it up here and scale it a little bit. Okay, to fit in. And then what I'm going to do is just open up my head layer and switch off all of these. Um, in fact, I'm just going to delete these elements, all except for the origin. And we'll talk a bit about the origin in a second. So I'm going to drag that down to the trash. That's all the original files. And then the origin, the origin, if you think of the origin like an anchor point, it's where 
the rotate point of this head would be or the attach point. So what I'm going to do is just move that down to where I would want that to be. So you can see the little blue indicator showing its position. And if I move it down to the chin, you can see now that origin is down on the chin. OK, so we've got the head in. Let's do the body. So let's select the body here. Um, I'm going to open up the existing body. And to make it easier, I'm just going to switch off those elements now, switch off the dress and the skin. In fact, we'll just ditch them and we'll go back to my original Illustrator artwork and I'm going to select the body layers and copy them. And then back over to my puppet, select the body, paste them in and again, just reposition them and scale them roughly where I want them to be. OK. So let's just see how that looks so far. I'm just going to save it. OK, and we'll jump back to Adobe Character Animator and it will just take a minute or two to update. But now you'll see that we have, let me just change the background colour, we have my artwork on the puppet. Now notice that the mouth isn't changing, it's not updating. Now, there's a, there's a reason for that. Um, one is that we haven't done the various mouth shapes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an Illustrator file where I have done the mouth shapes and we can have a look at that. But you see quite clearly it's reacting to the way I move. Um, if I grab one of the hands, it moves the hands so I can wave at the screen if I want to. OK, so I can say hi. I'm in Adobe Character Animator and I'm making my little character wave. It's fantastic. You've also got controls for things like the different properties of the character. So, for example, the necklace here, you'll notice as I move around, it dangles a little bit. And that's because it's got a dangle behavior attached to it. I can adjust the stiffness of that and make it dangle even more. So as I move around, you'll see it really swings from side to side now. So there's lots of control over physics elements in there as well. Uh, really, really fantastic. Now, let's have a look at how we can make the mouth work as well. So I'm going to jump back to Illustrator. And what I'm going to do is open up another one where I've worked on it a little bit further. So we're going to open up this one here. So what I'm going to do is just close up all the other elements for now. And we'll have a look at this one. So let's maximize that. And I'll switch off the transparency grid as well. OK, and on this one, I've done a little bit more work. So I've got the body. The neck has the dress attached to it just because I want the dress to be in front of the body and have it swinging around. Then I've got the necklace. OK, and then for the head, I've got a slightly more complex character. So you'll notice that for the mouth, if I open up the mouth, I have different shapes. So if we switch them on and off one by one, I'm going to switch them off. So first of all, I've got the shape for L, the shape for G and S, the, J, the shape for E and H, shape for F, O, W, R. So these are phonemes, or as they're called in Adobe Character Animator, visemes, because they're visual phonemes. So they're the mouth shapes that you would have for things like smiling, neutral face, and all the different vowel and consonant shapes that you need to make your character talk. So with that saved, if we go back to Character Animator, and I just get rid of this character from my scene, just hit backspace to delete it, and instead go to Import. So I'm going to choose my Tia Maria with red dress, which has all of the phonemes or visemes set up. Drag that into the scene. It takes a minute or two just to figure everything out. But now you'll see I've got my little character and she's talking very nicely. I can raise my eyebrows, blink. It does kind of pick up separate eyebrows, but I have to do a bit of work on it to get that. Um, I've got a little bug happening with the necklace that I need to figure out. But apart from that... She's saying, hi, welcome to Adobe Character Animator. It's great fun. Join in with me and come and do some great animation. I can pick up this hand as well. I can even pick up the feet. I can do walk cycles. There's all sorts of things that I can do in Adobe Character Animator. So have a go. Get your artwork in there and enjoy.